Well, my name is Terrence. Today on my account, I'm right here gonna show you how to disassemble my Taurus TH9. Um, this is gonna be the only video that's out there gonna show you how to actually disassemble this firearm. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Okay, here's the tools I'll be using to do my full disassembly. My attempt of disassembling my firearm. First, we're gonna remove the magazine, open the breech. Evidence of no ammunition or cartridges or magazine. Now, we're gonna start by fill stripping this. Easy, pull it back a little bit, push down the slide lock and then pull the slide right off. Then we're gonna remove the recoil spring here. I have this box here to keep all my parts in and small pieces. Now we're gonna remove the barrel, put it right there as well. And there you go, you have a complete fill strip process. I want to start with this slide. We're going to be removing the extractor, the round indicator, and the firing pin. I do not have the tools for the sights right here to remove, so I won't be unable to remove them right now. I want to grab my vise. This vise is going to Help me remove the pin since I don't have a uh, block to do that. I'm also going to use a cloth to help protect my slide from the vise. First, we're going to start with the firing pin. Remove the firing pin block that's right here. That's right here. What I have to do is push the fire pin safety right here down to push in the firing pin to be able to lift the block a little bit to remove it. We're gonna take a flathead screwdriver. Hopefully we have enough gap on the bottom. Nope, so we're gonna have to push up a little bit more on this and hopefully we now have a big enough gap underneath nope so maybe we're gonna have to push up more on this Like I'm gonna need my pick help me lift up this just enough to get the flathead in just like that and move it let go of the fire and pin safety that way it catches the fire pin so the fire pin doesn't launch right back at, at you. Now, as you see, the fire pin is still locked in place and here is the fire pin block. Now we're gonna push the fire pin in just a little bit, enough to push the fire pin safety down to eject the fire pin. Here you have the firing pin. I'll tilt it a little bit to get the firing pin spray. Now here's the firing pin spring. 
Also in the same process of removing the firing pin, also remove the firing pin safety right here and the firing pin safety spring. There you go. Right there. Now, now we're gonna move the uh, extractor. Do we're using the same vise. I'll be using a three three thirty seconds pin. I'm gonna enter right here where the get it focused in. Right here if you can see there is a hole for the extractor pin right here. I'm gonna put that right there. Take our mallet. And then as you see, you can grab it up. Extractor pin. Now, we're going to move the extractor and the safety indicator and the extractor pin right here. Also another use for the towel is to catch small parts. Here's the extractor spring, safety indicator, safety indicator Indicator spring and extractor. And that completes the disassembly of the slide. Now we're going to start with the rest of the gun. First, we're going to take off this back slide. Um, we're going to use the Tool that came with Taurus to get this grip off and do there's a little hole right here we're gonna push back this metal piece right here metal pin insert it like that and push it in and as you see it comes out these bags are interchangeable, so that's why Taurus put this tool in there. Now we're gonna put that in our little box. Now, we're gonna have to remove the hammer assembly, the fire control group, all right here with these two pins. I'm using, still using the vise with the cloth on there to keep my firearm protected from the vise and the metal. And also the cloth helps catches small parts. Now we're gonna put right here. So, we're going to move the fire control right here first. For moving the fire control, I'm actually going to be using a 3 30 seconds inch. So, I already moved the pin. The previous take. But here's the pin for the fire control group. And we're also going to remove the hammer assembly right here with the same pin. There we go. 
There we go. Pen for that. And what we're gonna do is take the firing control and the hammer assembly. Hammer assembly out first. Now we can move. Looking at my my trigger bar. We'll put that right in there. We got the hammer assembly. And we got the trigger assembly or the fire control group. Unable to get the trigger out since well, I might be able to get it up. Alright, and you have the trigger. I am this is the uh, feeding device and the safety or slide lock right here. Uh, I'm unable to get the slide lock off. So I'm going to place that right up here. Now we have the hammer spring assembly. Now what we're going to do is move the safeties off and remove them. There's a little pin right here that holds the safety selectors. Now we have the pin out the sa safety selector right there. Now we remove the safety selector out right there. Right there. <coughs> and this is the Carefully remove this. We're going to unhook the spring with my pick to relieve tension off of this part so the spring doesn't go flying back at you.
I can get it where I want it. And I'm going to have to use my hemostatin pliers. that spring push it get it off this extractor out. Nope, I'm not able to get this tractor out. I want to get the hammer out using this. Oh. This tractor was, the hammer was easy. Push out. That is the hammer bushing. Pull the hammer and the sear, and the sear spring out at the same time. Here's the hammer. Here is the sear and the sear spring. And we also have the hammer, what do you call it right here, wait a second. Impulsor, right here. Now since we got all that, now we're gonna come back to the spring. Now we can remove the spring without the sear in the way. As you see now, it's nice and free. It's not gonna go jump out. I'll take, sixteenth of an inch pin and push out that pin holding the oh apparently I missed red. This is the hammer spring guide and hammer spring correction. Here is the sear and the sear spring. 
and that's disassembly of hammer assembly without it. Now here's the complete disassembly of my Taurus TH9. Are all the parts I can do. Now it's time for reassembly. I'm gonna put grip right over here. We're gonna start with the hammer assembly again. Once again. Oh, missed one part. Now we're gonna start with the sear and the sear spring. Last time the sear and sear spring gave me a hard time putting it back together. Now make sure you have all the right parts in the correct area. Hard part with the sear and sear spring is making sure you have it right where you need to. Or I put the pin in just a little bit to help. I place the sear right in here. Just like that. Now, before we push it all the way, we're going to put the sear spring back into place, just like that. It's going to give you some problems because there's a spring. And then. Don't want to put just some tension. Don't want to put tension on it just yet. You want to get it in there first. Because it does get like to give a hard time. As you can see. And then we're going to pull back on that pin a little bit. To better. And then. Up. Now we're going to bring the sear back. I'm going to take my hemostat pliers and grab that one end of the spring, pull it back to be able to put tension on it, as you see. Now, we got to put the hammer, the uh, firing pin blocker enclosure, hammer got, uh, spring guide, and hammer spring back together with the bushing on this part before we can anything else. So, where this hammer guy go? Uh, Let's see, fire pin block and enclosure goes is right here in between spring and put it right there the hammer Let's 
gonna give me a hard time. Of course, it's spring. back in Just like that. we can keep this closure back into place. Just gotta line the enclosure back in. Take the hammer bushing. Very most important part is make sure you have everything aligned and set so 
there is no issues. See, I'm still trying to make sure it's all aligned. So I can put the bushing right in place. a little bit different. Let me get the hammer. And then close your end. I'm going to take a pair of pliers and compress this whole entire thing to fit it. I'll fit this hammer spring all the way in. Very carefully and slowly so I don't cause too much tension and it backfired on, backfires on me. I'm going to work way up. Grip. So and there we go. We got the sear and the hammer in, or sear, hammer, hammer spring guide, and hammer spring. All right, in. now work on the safety selectors. Before we can do that, we need to put the uh, the safety fire pin block on the safety selector and its spring. Here's is the spring, and what we're going to do is put it right there in that hole. Right there. And then the fire pin, the safety fire pin block, right there. And you see, we're gonna move up and down. Now we can put the safety switch. Put that side in first, and then the other side. Now we're gonna have to compress down this safety to fully put in the safety in. Exactly like that, and there we go. Now, that hole right there, we're gonna put the pin back in. 
Use the humor snap to put the pin in there. I got it in there for me with no problem. You can tell I was having a little issue. And we're slowly tap. it right there on top of there and slowly tap on it Keep working on it till it's nice and flush. And there you go. Hammer assembly is put back together. That right there. Now we're gonna work on the slide again. I'm going to put the extractor safety indicator, safety indicator spring, extractor spring, all back together right here with the extractor pin. First off, we to grab our extractor. We need to grab our safety indicator spring and this little notch right here is where the safety indicator spring goes just lay it down flat right there just like that see then you take your safety indicator and place it right there just like Safety indicator spring. Do and make sure to place that spring nice in there. And set that right into place exactly like that. And this is what made it easier for me to get the spring back in place. There's a little notch right here where you put the extractor spring in. Let's sit right there. And at a kind of an angle, angle, you slide it over to make sure that... 
the spring goes right into the notch of the extractor. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to kind of apply pressure as we're putting in the extractor pin to make sure it gets holds on in place. As you hammer down, everything should fall in place and be flush. As you can see, all flush and everything. Now we're gonna go back to the firing pin. You can see right here, empty slot with also the firing pin safety right here. What I have to do is grab your firing pin safety spring and the fire pin safety itself, but exactly like that. Spring inside the safety and kind of have it angled upward and it should all fall in place with the safety able to bounce around. All right, now we're gonna put that, the firing pin, firing pin spring and do put it together like so. Now we're gonna put in like this. The whole entire time putting that in, you need to press in that firing pin safety. I wanna push that all the way in. Release on the firing pin safety and it should lock in exactly like that. Now, these grooves right here, so we're going to put the fire pin block at. You want to put it in the correct way. You want the serial number that you see on here. inside like the facing inside I'm gonna put first start putting in the grooves you want to push in the fire pin all the way all the way Then take the firing pin block and put it into those grooves. So when you let go of it, and you want to put it in the correct way as well. shot try to get it even as possible then once you got it in there you want to kind of gently hammer it back into place And you guys are in there all the way. The fire pin safety will unlock, allowing the fire pin to rest right there. And that's how you put the fire pin in. Let's set that off to the side. Now we're gonna start putting our trigger, feeding ramp, trigger bar, trigger spin, spring back into place. Now we're going to take the tr trigger, see what this long end right here, and first, kind of want to angle it in, kind of 
fit it right there and it should pop right back right back there now you want to take the feeding ramp with these two notches right here align these bars in there and do that you're gonna have to mess around with the trigger a little bit to make sure it right into place. And there you go. That is now in there. Back like so. Take the trigger bar. That top part of The trigger you want to put this little notch right back in there and angle it in and then sit down right there that's gonna hold the trigger in place while we're gonna have to get creative for the trigger spring I want to grab my vise it's gonna help support my frame so I can be able to put this trigger spin in you know what i mean about getting creative i have to use the roll pin put it into place to kind of act like it is a pin as you see right there now i'm going to take the hammer the trigger spring lock it in with my hemostat it's going to keep a good grip now we're going to back away this roll pin just a little bit what I'm going to do we're going to put this in there kind of angle it up kind of force it not force force but where we can get it to lock it nice. just want to take a minute because springs typically don't want to work on your side and it is functioning now I have to do very carefully pull back now I have to do like I said when we get creative pen in here hammer
Let's see, that was a fail. Let's see. Let's do it this way. You have to do it like this. hammering the pen back in right there now that we got the trigger spring trigger and feed ramp all in there now we're gonna put back the hammer assembly oh well, first thing we're gonna do we're gonna line this up I'm gonna pull back the trigger bar and try to make sure we have it lined up perfectly even with you can see the right, make sure we can get in there and if it's flush now I'll pull this back out and want to install the trigger bar to this empty slot right here all right where the trigger bar goes. All right, now we gotta realign all this. Just thing falls into place how it should be. Now, once we have that installed, we'll work nice and gently. Nice and gently. Now we got the hammer assembly in with the trigger bar. As you see, everything works out as working fine. Now we're going to install the grip. I'm going to take the grip right here, place it in a slight angle. Exactly like that. It's right there. Then we're going to take the pin for the grip and place it right there. And then hammer in just gently to get it started off. After that happens, and then we're going to take the. Now that we have the back grip installed now it is basically a basic fill stripping now we'll put it all back together we are going to tilt the barrel just a little bit to line it in to the slide just like that all flushed then we're going to take the recoil spring right here put it in you want to apply a little bit of pressure put it back there was all nice and flush Align the slide with the slide rails right here, right here. Put it in, just like that. And there you go. Everything should be working. Here, a little test. Hammer reset, works. Safety, works. Dry fire. 
Hammer cock back. All works. Now, you got the fully detailed disassembly and reassembly of the Taurus TH9.